Hey learner, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and this is your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about the importance of carbon. Carbon is represented by symbol C and it is the sixth element in the periodic table. Carbon is the basic element for organic compounds. We know the organic compounds they have carbon, hydrogen and oxygen elements in them. And we also know that organic compounds they are actually present in living organisms. So in other words carbon is important for life. Carbon is tetravalent. In the tetravalent the word tetra mean four. And valent mean the valency. It means it has four valency or in other words, it can form four bonds with other elements by covalent bonding. Here you can see this is carbon and this carbon is forming four bonds. One, two, three and four. Because of this arrangement or this symmetrical arrangement, this structure is known as tetrahedron. Tetrahedron means, the tetra means four and hadrons mean head. It means that this structure has four heads. You can see this is one head, two head, three head and four head. So this structure is known as tetrahedron. This tetrahedron is actually forming a stable configuration. It means that all the valencies in this compound is satisfied and this is not going to break easily. Carbon form two type of structures, branched or unbranched. In the unbranched structure, the carbon is arranged in a single line or a straight line, while the branched structure has some branches generating from that single line. You can see this one here is the single line, while this one, this one and this one, they all are the branches of the carbon so this structure is branched while this structure is unbranched now these branched or unbranched structures they are further arranged in the form of chain or in the form of rings this is the chain structure of carbon however when this chain structure is arranged in the form of a ring so this structure will form or this structure is called ring structure in living organisms carbon is found to form bond with hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus and sulfur. The CH bond which is formed in the organic compounds is very important because of the chemical energy it provides. Then oxygen, the oxygen bond which is formed in the glycosidic linkage it is very important for the stability of complex carbohydrates. For example one glucose is bound with another glucose so the two structures they are actually combining because of the glycosidic bond and this glycosidic bond has CO structure. So it is important for the stability. While the bond with nitrogen CM this is known as peptide bond and this peptide bond is found in the amino acids and this is very important for the structure and function of variety of amino acids which are going to arrange to form different types of proteins. Overall if you see these organic compounds they can be categorized into large organic compound here OC mean organic compound and small organic compounds. The large organic compounds they are known as macromolecules, macro means large, cellulose, fat and proteins are the examples of macromolecules. The macromolecules they are very important for the structure of cell. We know that cell membrane is made up of fat and protein, cell wall is made up of cellulose. So they are very important for the structure of the cell. Along with this, the macromolecules, they store small molecules, for example, glucose. When the glucose is broken down, it is going to provide energy to the body. On the other hand, the small organic compounds, they are also known as micromolecules. Here the word micro means small. Glucose, amino acids and fatty acids are the examples of micromolecules. These molecules, they are the source of energy. When they are going to break down, they are going to provide you with ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate. And ATP is the energy currency in the body. Whenever the energy is generating or wherever the energy is needed in the body, this ATP is going to break down to provide the energy. So it is very important for cellular metabolism. Cellular means that metabolism or the chemical reactions which are taking place in a cell.
and these small organic molecules are the subunits of macromolecules it means that these small organic compounds they are going to combine together to form macromolecules so that was all about the importance of carbon if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video